Um, I am senior pastor of Korean Central Presbyterian Church of Houston. Uh, I have uh, served the church for 35, almost 35 years ago, uh, since 1986, 1987. Uh, I am grateful uh, to be here with you uh, as moderator. Mm. On behalf of uh, NCKPC, uh, I welcome all of you and thank you all of you too. Uh, it's uh, a privilege and uh, honor to me uh, as a moderator of NCKPC for this term. Uh, first of all, uh, I would like to express my sincere gratitude uh, to Jubilee Preparation Committee. I know uh, they hard work and uh, I have often moved, impressive uh, their hard work and the passionate uh, devotion and the faithful uh, responsibility. So this time, uh, the first uh, Jubilee celebration symposium, I hope the second and the third will be continued. Uh, and uh, I am proud of uh, sec our second generation. Uh, they're almost the 모든 거다 준비하고 진행하고 계획하고 있는 그 우리 우리 교단에 있는 세컨 제너레이션 대해서 베리 프라우드하게 생각하고요. 그리고 I am proud to have invited uh, special guests also uh, who are strong and uh, excellent and outstanding scholar. So. Uh, 그것도 굉장히 자부심이 있고 또 자랑스럽습니다. 오늘 이 자리에서 우리는 그분들을 통해서 this, about this is our story 어, 이야기를 듣는 아주 좋은 기회가 되고 아주 익사이팅한 기회가 될 것이고 또 뭔가 우리가 배울 수 있는 그런 좋은 유익한 시간이 될 것입니다. 또한 제가 원하는 것은 make yourself your story 어, with God make your story uh, history Korean American, Korean American churches, Korean American immigrant in USA. Uh, 그런 아주 유익한 시간이 되기를 바라고 또 모여서 있는 이 시간이 우리 next generation을 위한 희망을 주는 새로운 어, 장을 열어가는 또 다른 50주년을 준비하고 열어나가는 귀한 축복의 장이 되기를 바라고 다시 한번 어, 감사하고 또 진짜 여러분 축복합니다. 감사합니다. Hello, everybody. Uh, I'm standing here to welcome all of you. But before I uh, uh, welcome you. I'd like to comment one word. Uh, when I was nominated as a chairperson for Jubilee uh, Preparation Committee, I answered to God and to moderator of previous uh, uh, NCKPC, why me? Why me? I cannot do it because I'm female and Jangno uh, elder. I'm not Moksanim. Uh, I am not Namsong. So what? So guys, I hear God's voice. What's wrong with that? So I obeyed, and uh, now here I'm standing. Thank you that uh, Spirit, Holy Spirit, let me. Obey to call you. Uh, before I welcoming message to tell you the the docket you have, uh, there is no page printed. But if you count from first page, you can go to fifty page. That's where my welcoming word printed. 
and with my beautiful picture. And uh, unfortunately, the real version is missing from the packet. There is a, a loose paper printout for you. If anybody like missing that, you can get from the paper or ask somebody. Because when I uh, welcoming you, I want you read that paper message, not to look at me. Because I'm going to speak English pronunciation. Um, it's the first time I'm standing before people to uh, present remarks in English. So you have to understand my Congress. Okay. As remembering one of Korean proverbs says, 10 years make a great changes, even the rivers and the mountains. 10년이면 강산도 변한다. So the year of 2021 is a very special year for us. We give our thanks and the praise to our God who has providentially granted us this special occasion. God planted the National Caucus of Korean Presbyterian Church and CKPC on this American soil and has ever since faithfully kept and led it for the past 50 years, which is five times of 10 years. Uh, so uh, last May of this year at Houston, Texas, the fifth assembly of NCKBC, the former moderator of NCKBC, Roland Choi Byung Ho, he is here with us. Can you stand? Thank you. He declared the year of 2021 as the first Jubilee year to the loud sound of trumpet, Leviticus chapter 25, 9 as he preached on the Jubilee theme words, Luke chapter 4, 19, which is written on the banner. Uh, it's proclaimed the year of the Lord's favor. The Jubilee Pre Preparation Committee, since the year of 2019, uh, the 48th Assembly of NCKPC, has been able to produce the song of the first jubilee, which we will sing later together. The confession of faith, which is in the docket, you can read later. And the first jubilee symposium, where we are here now. For To all my colleagues who have worked entirely and to all the uh, leaders of the first generation who have so far led NCKPC successfully, I would like to express my sincere gratitude. Even though our symposium, This is Our Story, has a very short period of time, only two nights and two days, I pray and hope in earnest that it could be a turning point of our history and even a breaking, breaking point of future wave, uh, future water sweat, water sweat waves. Looking back at the past 50 years of Korean and other first generation immigrant church experience and looking forward to the faith journey of the second and third generation immigrant. I welcome all of you attending this symposium today in the name of Jesus. And with deep thanks to Holy Spirit who gives us the holy calling and the holy responsibility. God bless you all. Thank you.
So we're heading into the time of worship right now. Um, the worship service is actually going to be divided into two different parts. So we will start out here with the worship, but as we, some of us imagine, it has been the practice of the first century church. We share love feasts together. That's going to be part of our worship service as well. So the part two of our worship service will move together into the fellowship hall where we will share love feast together uh, and bless one another in the name of Jesus. 이제 예배 시간으로 들어갈 텐데요. 어, 이번 예배는 계획 예배는 두 파트로 나눠져 있습니다. 첫 번째 파트는 저희가 여기에서 지금 이제 함께 신앙 고백도 하고 찬양도 드리고 예배를 드릴 것이고 두 번째 파트는 저희가 생각하기에 또 공부하고 어, 이미진하기에 첫 어, 세기 그 초대교회는 어떻게 예배를 드리고 어떻게 친교를 나눴을까 그것을 생각하면서 어, 그때는 예배 가운데 애찬도 함께 나눴다라는 어, 그러한 이야기들도 있습니다. 그래서 어, 예배 2부는 친교실로 저희가 희년의 노래를 부르면서 옮겨가서 애찬을 나누고 서로를 또 축복하는 그러한 시간을 갖도록 하겠습니다. 아, 그 전에 먼저 어, 말씀드리면 이 교회 단임 목사님이신 여기 미국 교회 단임 목사님이신 바브 라이언 목사님께서 지금 휴가 중이셔서 이렇게 함께 참여하지 못하였는데 저희가 내일 그 목사님의 그 인사 말씀은 내일 오전 시간에 함께 나누, 에, 나누도록 하겠고요. 특별히 오늘 저녁은 이따가 또 어, 광고 말씀을 드리겠지만 아, 저희 교회가 속해 있는 덴보 노예와 또 여기에 있는 아일리프 신학교에서 또 스폰서를 해 주셨습니다. 너무나도 감사드립니다. So just one final note, um, Barb Lyons, who is the pastor of the Presbyterian Church of the Covenant, the, this host church, she is actually on a vacation. I think she's in um, Cabo, uh, so she's really enjoying herself right now. Uh, but um, um, she could not be here, but she sends her words of welcome and we'll actually watch a video of her tomorrow morning. And, and also we'll make some more announcement later on, but note that tonight's dinner is sponsored by Denver Presbytery as well as I Live Seminary, so we really appreciate their contribution. 지금 이 시간 다 같이 마음을 모아서 우리 하나님께 예배 드리도록 하겠습니다. Let us join our hearts as we worship the Lord together. Since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us also lay aside every weight and the sin that clings so closely. And let us run with perseverance the race that is set before us, looking to Jesus, the pioneer and the perfecter of our faith. Almighty God, you have broken the tyranny of sin and sent the spirit of your son into our hearts. Give us grace to dedicate our freedom to your service, that all people may know the glorious liberty of the children of God, through Jesus Christ our Lord who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. We'll sing our hymn together. Our hymn is Come That Found, but you'll notice that there's two different music versions. We're going to follow the one in your book, uh, booklet, uh, the one, uh, the music that is in Korean. So you could sing in English, but follow the music that is in 4-4. Uh, and uh, let's sing in this song together. 복의 근원 강림하사 찬송을 부르실 텐데요. 저희 찬송가에 보면 이게 4분의 3박자입니다. 근데 4분의 4박자로 저희가 아, 편곡을 했고 또 가사도 영어 가사에 맞게 저희가 또 번역한 그 가사를 사용해서 우리 함께 찬양 드리도록 하겠습니다. We'll sing in, in whatever language that you are comfortable with. Come thy fount of every blessing to my heart to sing thy grace streams of mercy. Oh, 
things that Jubilee a planning team has, has done this year was to come up with our confession of faith together. So it is in your uh, booklet, and we will confess this, we will recite this in English together. We are worshipers of the triune God who have been called to join churches planted by Korean immigrants to America. God the Father allowed the formation of the NCKPC 50 years ago. We mark our first jubilee by recalling the examples of the Israelites who blew the trumpet to call the nation to heartfelt repentance. Sexist attitudes that broke the unity between our members and the unhealthy communication patterns that broke the unity between our generations. Now, keeping our eyes on the cross on which our Lord died to atone for our sins, we resolve to be a community of love that extends forgiveness and care to members of the church, a community of hope that extends help, comfort to neighbors in the world, and a community of truth that extends accountability and correction to those in the grip of sin. Now following the Holy Spirit, sent to be our guide and comfort by our resurrected Lord, we resolve to be a community of faith that develops our spiritual gifts through service, a community of mission that makes disciples who obey that Jesus taught, and a community of stewardship that works to pass on the goodness of God's creation to future generations. Now looking forward to our next Jubilee year, resolve to the sanctuary community that works those of racism may breed freely. A peacemaking community that prays for peace and reunification on the Korean Peninsula. And a creative community that allows the world to see the inbreaking of all new heaven and new earth in all the world. We give glory to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now at this time, um, Pastor Don Lee from Praise Church in New Jersey will come lead us in prayer for this ser uh, service. Pastor Don has served as, as the chair for the symposium planning.
Thank you. Uh, if, if, if we may bow our heads and just pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we pray not only to the God of Abraham, but we pray today to the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. For God, you are the God of the generations, and you desire to bless beyond, Lord Father, even our generation as well. We are able to celebrate, Lord, these past 50 years of Jubilee because you have been faithful, God, and you are faithful, and you will be faithful evermore. Let us celebrate the past for the foundation set by our early founders. Let us remember their faithful work that as they um, were the generation of survival, that God, that because of that, we can now be the generation of revival. And let us, Lord, also to look forward to the future as well, to cover them in prayer now. Uh, that, that, that God, that you know, the work that is being done now is not the most important one. But Lord, we look to extend, Lord, this Jubilee celebration to the third, the fourth, and the fifth generations. God, we thank you, Lord, for our speakers today. We thank you, God, for the overabundance, Lord, that you have provided, Lord, in providing them to us. We pray, Lord, that the Spirit would use them powerfully, that you would use their words, that you use their knowledge, the wisdom, uh, the things that they have you imparted into their lives to clearly speak to us, Lord, where and how um, their experiences, that their stories have led them thus far. And let us also be able to celebrate our story. God, this is our story. This is a story of your faithfulness working in the lives of those today. And, and may we continue to tell the story beyond Lord, this, this uh, symposium, that God, that there may be power, that there may be fruit, that, that your words may bring life, Father God, to the generations after us. And so, Lord, we um, look to the organization, um, the organizers of this symposium. We thank you for the hard work. Uh, but most importantly, you know, as we stated from the beginning, we thank you for without you, without your son sacrificed on the cross, without your, your, your Holy Spirit empowering us even till today, that God, that none of this would have been possible. So let the celebration not be a celebration of only the Korean American church, but of our faithful God, our God who is here for the generations. So we thank you, God, and we love you. And in the Son's precious holy name, we pray. Now, at this time, I'd like to invite Reverend Jenny Lee to come and deliver God's word to us this evening. Good evening, everyone. It is an honor to be standing before you at this joyous and momentous occasion for Korean Church. And I am humbled to be sharing God's word with you today. Please pause with me in a prayer. Gracious God, let the words of my mouth and the meditations of our hearts together be acceptable to you. You are our rock and our redeemer. In Christ, amen. Today's scripture comes from Mark chapter 10, verses 46 to 52. Listen for the word of God. They came to Jericho. As he and his disciples and a large crowd were leaving Jericho, Bartimaeus, son of Timaeus, a blind beggar, was sitting by the roadside. When he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to shout out and say, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Many sternly ordered him to be quiet, but he cried out even more loudly, son of David, have mercy on me. Jesus stood still and said, call him here. And they called the blind man, saying to him, take heart, get up, he's calling you. So throwing off his cloak, he sprang up and came to Jesus. Then Jesus said to him, what do you want me to do for you? The blind man said to him, my teacher, let me see again. Jesus said to him, go. Your faith has made you well. Immediately, he regained his sight and followed him on the way. 
This is the word for the people of God. Two things are immediately noticeable as we begin to read this pericope. Mark begins by clearly indicating the name of the location where the story happens. It begins with, they came to Jericho. Here go. The next sentence describes that Jesus and his disciples and a large crowd are leaving Jericho. What follows next? In fact, the whole story happens as they are moving out of Jericho. There's a distinct movement from the beginning to the end of the story, coming into Jericho and leaving Jericho. The story is happening in between while on the move. Mark also takes time describing this beggar. His name, his father's name, his condition, and his social location, as well as his geographical location when Jesus and the crowd were passing by. His name is Bartimaeus, which means son of Timaeus. Therefore, his father's name is Timaeus. Timaeus means to honor in Greek. He was a beggar, a blind beggar. And he was sitting by the roadside, curbside, sidewalk, or on the margin, if you will. When he heard that Jesus was in the crowd, Right away, he began to shout out, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Despite the fact that many people rebuked and told him to be quiet, he cried out even more loudly. Son of David, have mercy on me. Even at a distance, perhaps, Jesus couldn't help but noticing his consistent crying out and people ordering him to be quiet. Jesus then paused walking and stood still and paid attention to this beggar. He called the beggar closer to him. A few minutes ago, people sternly ordered him to be quiet. Now people are telling telling him to get up and go because Jesus is calling him. Jesus is calling. How sweet that sounds. How that changes everything. Jesus calling him. Calling us. He sprang up from sitting like the cork shooting off from the champagne bottle. In excitement, he even throws off his only coat. Jesus is calling reorders our priorities. Jesus is calling changes lives. Jesus calling him is a gospel. In a renowned author and Presbyterian minister, Frederick Buchner's words, Gospel is bad news before it is good news. Bartimaeus shouting to Jesus was muffled among the noises of the crowd and people scolding him to be quiet. People ordered him to be quiet because his shouting was annoyance to them. A useless distraction because no one, they thought, would pay attention to a blind guy begging on the curbside. To their surprise, Jesus paused and stood still for him. That is the gospel to Bartimaeus. Jesus standing still for the blind beggar, for us, for those who have been dismissed, ignored and told to be quiet. That is Evangelion good news. As his name Timaeus alludes to, Jesus honored him by hearing him, 
pausing for him, calling him and giving him a voice. The whole Jericho crowd is now looking at the two men in anticipation. Jesus standing still in the middle of the road and the blind man who dashed to be with Jesus even at the cost of abandoning his precious coat. What do you want me to do for you? Jesus asks the blind beggar. What would this blind beggar man want Jesus to do for him, one might wonder. The suspense builds up as the people wait for the beggar to respond. His response, my teacher, let me see again. He wants to see again. He wants to have his sight back. Praise God, he knows precisely what he's asking and whom to ask for it. Jesus said, go, your faith has made you well. Immediately he receives what he asked for. He regained his sight. Now his life is changed. Everything has changed for him. And what does he do after he regains his sight? He follows Jesus. He's no longer sitting on the sidewalk begging. He is following Jesus in the center of the road to Jerusalem along with the disciples. There's a message in this pericope for Korean church and us who gathered here to celebrate the Jubilee year of NCKPC. Jubilee is a notable moment in time. It is also a significant juncture. We are filled with joy and sense of celebration, perhaps pride as well. Also, we are filled with hope for the future, our future and our children's future, all our collective future, as we continue to write our story as Christ's body. We are grateful to the leaders with the vision and conviction who nurtured us and brought us here. And the real testimony is to God's grace and faithfulness extended to a small people like us strangers to this land and led us here to a point where we envision how we can continue to be church together as we journey on. Jericho is the last stop before Jesus and his disciples enter Jerusalem. After leaving Jericho, Jesus' ministry continues in Jerusalem, just as NCKPC has entered the 50-year mark since our forerunners began this journey. Next year, we'll be entering into the new century where new Next year, we'll be entering into the new century where new ministry awaits us, guided by the new vision. We will continually be on the move as we have been for the last 50 years. Our story will go on. And in between, stuff happens like the COVID pandemic and the social pandemic that forces us to re-examine the identity of this nation. And Jesus continues to call us in the midst. In several ways, 
Bartimaeus' story challenges us and the Korean church. As we celebrate the past and the present and dream the future. First, are we willing to let go of our precious jacket as the blind beggar left his only jacket behind when Jesus called him? Secondly, who is sitting on the corpse side in our church, in our culture? Thirdly, are there people we are telling to be quiet? And as a result, whose voices are we missing in our church? Our tables. Women, young people, or non ordained people? I believe this momentous juncture invites us to consider a new paradigm. Practicing generosity. Like the farmer who scatters seeds in the field generously. Allow plenty of space for the people on the sideline and for the voices that have been absent at our tables and sit with them at the table and vision what significance we can contribute together to this world that God so loved to send his only son. And what if we also invite them to imagine with us what impact we might be able to make in people's lives as witnesses to God's abounding love? Shifting from the first generation's success paradigm to significance or impact paradigm means journeying together in solidarity. God's grace is found in the process. As we celebrate this Jubilee year for NCKPC, and as we keep on journeying forward, we are called to notice and hear the people on the sideline and bring their voices to the table and build the solidarity to usher in awesome, adventurous, and grace-filled future for us all. May God grant us an NCKPC new site as we commit to boldly follow Jesus Christ into the new century. Amen. Thank you, Reverend Lee, for the wonderful, challenging message. We're going to sing together our Jubilee song, the first Jubilee song um, together. I believe there's a video with the uh, music. So if we could sing together, we'll sing together all through uh, together. And then afterwards, we will move into the time of love feast.
Now, as we move towards uh, the second part of our worship service, please go find your seat, but don't start eating yet. We'll be doing something before we eat. So please let us move to the second part of our worship. Thank you. 